Thank you everyone for coming. I'm going to talk today about brainstorming. And first question is, have an, any one of you uh, used the brainstorming at work or at personal life? Please raise your hands. Oh, nice. So today you might learn, if you didn't know maybe, uh, a new uh, framework for brainstorming. So if you don't know where to start, that's going to be like one possible way to do that. So, and I just don't want to make a um, presentation about um, theory. I want to do it in practice. So let's brainstorm together. And here is the problem. So maybe some of you know where it is. Um, it's Singapore Marina Bay and we are organizing community, so let's make a thought experiment together, okay? So, uh, we are organizing committee of uh, next um, National Day Parade in Singapore. And the problem is that there is a national stadium which is uh, going to be turned down for renovation for next eight years. That means that if the national stadium is turned down, we don't have a place to have our National Day Parade. So this is how it looks. This is Marina Bay. And if you know, Singapore is a country uh, with not a lot of like earth and there are a lot of water and um, there are not much space to do that. And we were asked to place a new stadium somewhere here. And um, in like um, normal world, what would happen is someone coming and saying, "Hey, uh, uh, we, knew, we need a new stadium because we are football fans." And the other guy saying, "Hey, uh, we need fish, we need water." And other coming and saying, "Hey, uh, just do not work because we have today a religious day, whatever." So and there are different opinions start to fight each other. It's not about people, it's about ego. That I think my opinion is more important than yours. So here is the point where Edward de Bono started thinking about this problem and why it's happening. So he wrote three very in interesting books. It's uh, Lateral Thinking, Parallel Thinking, and Six Thinking Hats. And I am going to talk about thinking hats. So this is something what um, the, this framework, Six Thinking Hats, it gives us opportunity to give a uh, brain uh, some role, some specific role that, uh, for example, um, we have a d uh, different uh, types of thinking. So one type of thinking uh, is the creative. It gives us ideas like, uh, hey, what about doing this? What about doing this and this and this? You probably know like people who always suggest some new interesting ideas. Or maybe they are not interesting because the other guys are just walking Wikipedia. They're saying, hey, um, it's like it was in this year. The name of those guys was this and this and this. They're not trying to be creative. They just know facts. And those people are also cool. They have facts. And another people are just seeing uh, everything is bad. They criticize everything like, no, this idea is bad. Uh, you don't want to do this and this. Why are you doing this? It's also good. It's a judgment. Maybe uh, this is something that helped us for like a thousand years to survive. Don't go there because it's um, dangerous to do that and so on. And um, Six Thinking has a framework which gives us opportunity to try ourselves a different role for ourselves, and uh, but use all of these different types of thinking. This may be something new for you, so we'll try it out. And where you can use it, you can use it at business, you can use it for private life, you can use it uh, when you're doing some research. And <coughs> uh, the main an important part is that you wear only one hat at a time. So here are different types of thinking and how it works. So this is a real hat. 
and we are using in this technique imaginary hat. So I just tell you, please took off your hat and let's use the green hat. So put on the green hat. If you're um, uh, I was saying about the green hat, if I want you to switch the mode of your thinking to creativity. And if someone's starting being, um, for example, judgy, I'm saying, hey, that's a wrong hat, that's a black hat. Can you please put it off and put the green hat on? This is a role play, this is a game. So let's try it out. And let's go back to our task. So the task is, the goal is to build a new stadium to hold the National Day Parade. Okay? Uh, it should be on the Marina Bay in Singapore. It should be there. And the National Stadium is going to be turned down. It's a fact. So, we're going to start with the blue hat. This is the moderator's hat. This is the action hat. This hat thinks what to do next, why are we here, and answer these questions. So, I'm going to use the blue hat right now to describe the problem. So, we are here to solve this problem. So, and uh, I'm going to switch the hats and give some time for us to use this type of thinking. So, the first for you will be the white hat. The white hat is a type of thinking of Wikipedia, wh what I call it like. So, those are the questions. When you ask these questions to yourself, you're switching your mind to the white hat or the information. So let's try to gather the facts that we know and very important, the information is missing. If you read my riddles on my Facebook, you probably noticed like there was some very creative riddles like uh, if you think logically not always comes up a uh, solution, but if you're answering the question what information is missing, it's very useful. So let's start it together. What facts do we know and what information is missing? Please help me out. The location. Anyone? Where should build the stadium? <laughs> Marina Bay. Okay. We have location. What should be built? Stadium, okay. Uh, what type of stadium should we build? To be there for the parade, so a big one. So that should be big. Okay, this is, this is some specific stadiums. So this is a specific type. Is it clear which stadium should we build? No. What kind of things should be happening there? For athletics. Okay, parade. So the format is. There should be parades. What else? I, is there any big... Uh, uh, okay, football, nice. So we have to be able to play football and to have a parade there. And maybe something else, like uh, doing some uh, big events, right? So now we used uh, the white hat to gather the information. We switch into the red hat. So... Um, this is about feeling. Uh, we are just showing our emotions. How do you feel about? Uh, is it a warm feeling or a cold feeling? So, how do you feel about um, building a new stadium? Is it c cold or warm? Is it good or bad emotion? Which emotion do you have? Is it going to be used in the future after this event? It's a temporary solution. Yeah. It is. So how do you feel about this? Angry. Angry, okay. <laughs> okay, angry, okay. Uh, how do you think about like uh, having a place f to have a national day parade? That we will have it. Is it good emotion or bad emotion? Offended, maybe, because I'm a football fan and I don't want any parade on my... <laughs> <laughs> so there are like some football... <laughs> Uh, the football fans say, oh, I don't want to have parades, cool, okay, uh, and other way around it's probably also like to, to have like f f other way around was the same. Okay, so we know uh, something about like our emotions about uh, different aspects and we're switching to another hat. 
the black hat. The black hat says, is it true? Will it work? And what's wrong with it? So uh, let's check it out. So what we have here. Is this true that the location should be Marina Bay? OK. Um, so this is what we know for sure. We were asked to do it there. Yes, it's true. OK. Um, should it be big? This is under question. So we're now um, trying all this thing, how, uh, how strong are this concept here, how, how strong is this information. Should it be a parade? Yes. Right? Should it, uh, should it be possible to play football? Yes. Should it be possible to have an event? Yes. What type of the stadium should it be? Should it be like the round stadium or like big stadium like everywhere else? This is under questions. We don't know this. So it can be different. And now you can stress all information that you have here to check out what is actually true and what is not. We're switching the hat to the green hat. This is, this is the most important hat like in the whole, the whole brainstorming technique. It's a green hat and this uh, type of thinking we have to train. This is a creativity hat. So uh, it's about either any possible ways to work it out, either any ways. Um, like to have a stadium at Marina Bay without like removing all the water. Like how can we play football on water? Is it possible? Water polo. polo. Okay, <laughs> nice. So it can be water polo. But uh, there was a football fan and he says, no, I want to play football. I don't want to play like um, water polo. Okay, anything else? Like is there any way to play football on the water? Okay, nice. It can be boat, so it can be football on the water. It can be boat. Anything else like something similar to boat? Inflatable islands. <laughs> kind of island. Okay, so maybe some kind of platform. So we have uh, like different solutions here already, right? We're switching the head to the yellow. Is it possible to do that? Is something uh, like Will this idea work? I'll take this question. Will this idea work to have like an, a platform on the water, to have a football uh, field there, to have a parade and events? Will it work? Okay, what do we need it, uh, for this? So let's switch uh, to the blue hat and answer the action questions. So what is the conclusion, outcome, and solution the next steps? So the next step is going to be to find a designer, to give him a task to build a platform uh, so that it's possible to have the football field. And this is how it looks like. Congratulations! We've got the uh, similar solution to what the actual um, uh, organizing community had. So, and you see this uh, platform there. So it can be, I think it's up to 30,000 people there. And uh, this is the only one um, stadium like this in the world. So it's actually, uh, it's even um, uh, attracting more tourists. So this is, was a nice idea and good solution. You can check it out like Marina Float. It's called Float at Marina Bay. And this is a, was an example how you can uh, use uh, the brainstorming technique to find out the solutions where they are maybe not very logical. So to find out some cr creative solutions uh, for some very complex problems. And what are the benefits of using thinking hats? This is the focused thinking. So uh, it, it will save you time because you can define in the beginning, okay, I want to have only two minutes on each hat and I want to use six hats. And you already know how much time do you need, do you know? Sometimes, like my meetings at work, they can be from two hours to three hours and we still do not have solution. So maybe if you just go, like, categorized by thinking without fighting each other, like different opinions, you can just gather information on the board and, like, stress every single word, not just one opinion or not to fight an ego of a different person, but to fight, like, the idea, to the information that we have all together using the same type of thinking. That's why we're not going to fight. So this framework will also help you to improve your creativity. 
Um, and what can I say? This is six heads. The yellow hat is about optimism and supporting an idea. Green hat is about generating ideas. Blue hat is about the managing the process. White hat is about gathering only facts and information. Red is about giving an emotion to different solutions, like what do I feel. Um, and black hat is about criticizing ideas, like killing ideas. If we have a lot of ideas, we probably need to filter it. So it's a black hat. And if you want to find out some information about uh, how to develop the creativity, there is some information here. It's called lateral thinking. Uh, so it can be a start for you in uh, this uh, Edward de Bono world, like, which I really like. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Alexei. So we have a, some time for questions. Someone would have a question, please. Like if I get to the yellow hat and then I find out, no, this concept does not work, or this stadium is not suitable for a break, we should build an Olympic stadium. Shall I go all over back to the blue one? So if there is a fixed order of hats, how you should use it? So <clears throat> basically, you have a defined role moderator who always use the blue hat. Only blue hat can change the hats of other people. So as a moderator, you can always define. There is n not a strict uh, like way. You just think, OK, there are a lot of ideas. I want to remove some ideas. You use the black hat, and so on. So it's not two-ended process. It's a circle. You, you can use it in a creative way, how, however you want. You just uh, can save your time uh, for like w with this fighting uh, egos and opinions. You know, This is why it's useful. Some mm -hmm. more questions? Maybe. Please. How do you get rid of the boss's head? <laughs> <laughs> the question probably will be how you deal with hierarchy of people in a group. Um, you actually, you don't need to explain to your boss or your group when you're starting. You just say, okay, guys, let's gonna brainstorm something and I'm gonna lead. <laughs> <laughs> so you should persuade your boss, essentially. Uh, and if they are not uh, uh, following you, you just say, hey, can you please um, put off this black hat and use the green hat right now. And, and we're just going to play a game. So this is a, just a game. Yeah? Say, screw you. I'm a boss here. <laughs> the last question, please. So according to De Bono, Mr. De Bono, um, generally the thing in brainstorming that I found difficult is sometimes people are just stuck with one hat. So how, um, as a moderator, how you can uh, control the situation and make people aware of this fact that they need to change the hat now? Not so the, what if you have a problem, someone kind of stuck in a certain hat and he or she doesn't want to switch? Mm. What do you do? In this game, I call it a game. Uh, in this game, you just ask people, can you please put off this hat, the black hat, and put on the green hat? If he is saying something, uh, judgment, something like this, you recognize, OK, this is a different type of thinking. This is probably with this hat. He has to change the hat. And you ask people, stick to the rules like of this methodology, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Alexei. Thank you.